The words rain tax have been thrown around for quite some time, even before the most recent flooding. Now the question is, who could end up potentially paying that rain tax? And will it actually make a difference in terms of flood mitigation in the future? Whatever you want to call it, we do have a lot of rain. We do need to deal with storm water. We need to deal with floods. And if we do nothing, that's irresponsible. The preferred term in these parts is stormwater charge. And it's one of the ways being explored to help keep the runoff from commercial and industrial properties from ending up in the sewers. The mayor quick to point out after some recent controversy, homeowners aren't likely to find their water bill overflowing with a rain tax. We're not talking about residential, we're talking about commercial. Is that if you provide your service, make it more permeable, then you don't pay, pay, you pay less, right? Whereas if you do nothing and your parking lot become parking lake, then you should take some responsibility. Non-residential property, the hard surfaces uh, on the roof, on the ground, that contribute to at least half of the stormwater problems we have in this city, which again contribute directly to flooding of everything you care about. And there you are in many cases not paying their way. The latest move is to assess what incentives the city currently offers and explore other ways to manage stormwater. The installation of backwater valves, sub pumps, replacing concrete with interlocking brick and create more green space, for example. We'll help homeowners and business to avoid costly floods and find ways and help homeowners to create permeable services where water can go into the ground instead of run off into pavement uh, and flood basement and overwhelm our sewer system. Among the hardest hit neighborhoods during last week's flooding was Rockcliffe in Councillor Nunziata's ward. And she believes there's support to start funding more flood mitigation strategies. Because the public was, you know, they were concerned about a rain tax, additional taxes, but with the hundreds and thousands of people um, that have gone through this with the flooding, I think they'd understand now. Council passing a motion to go ahead with consultations that will begin in August, last throughout October. At that point, a package from city staff is expected to come back by the end of the year, so something could be added to next year's budget. Mark McAllister, City News.